deceptive viral camping hacks, one couple dares to uncover the truth, relying only on themselves and armed with a bug out bag of YouTube survival hacks. They must traverse a lake of fairly cold water to a deserted island where they must spend the night and learn the truth. Welcome to Hack Island. Wish me luck. All right. Okay, wish us luck. We're on our way to Hack Island. When I watch YouTube videos, I love to indulge myself with camping and survival hacks. We've all seen these too good to be true hacks, and I want to find out once and for all if these things really work. And I want to do it in a real world situation. So I'm going out to an island that I affectionately nicknamed Hack Island. Doing great, so far so good. Excited? Yeah, it's gonna be great. What do you think? It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, she was a little nervous about coming and spending the night on a deserted island. Okay, and one thing that's got us worried a little bit is that it's been raining for the last four or five days. So this island could literally be a mud pit when we get over here. Something to look forward to. It's like you can't even see the island, really, in this shot. I can't. Eventually. And here we are at the island. Look at this. The island is smaller than it was last time I visited. As you can tell, all that rain has put all these trees in the... I wonder if there is an island or if it's just trees. But we're gonna float on over and check it out. Wish us luck. Okay, sounds like the natives are restless. <laughs> There's definitely some wildlife on the island. You excited? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just uh, checking out the island and uh, as you can see, it's pretty darn cool. We're gonna try to find us a camping spot like right in here. I'm a little worried about these geese. I don't wanna take their camping spot. And here we are all the way to the other side of the island. Just that easy. One minute, 37 seconds later. Wow, those rocks though look like- Yeah, let's just do five. this. Look so. at this. Somebody has already built a nice fire. Know what oh, we this... can't hear yeah, right there. That's it. Are... I'm gonna bring the boat around to the other side. You are right there, cause uh, that'll be a lot oh. easier. Okay. okay, friends, we are all set up. Got the tent ready to go. Got our trash bag, so we can do a little policing of the area. Got the uh, big hammock set up here. Super excited to get over, get inside this thing. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, we are going to get started by getting our fire going. And because this is the hack special, we're going to try two different hacks that you may have seen on the internet. Try to get our fire going. And just in case they don't work, we brought a lighter. Hack number one is something I use all the time. A windscreen. Okay, we're getting a really strong wind from the water over here. So, I put this up to block the wind. And if you come over on this side, ah, so nice. There you have it. So much that it's like not even blowing the hammock anymore. So, we did good. Now we're gonna make our fire. Let's get started. Okay, we've got the double mint gum to try the battery and gum wrapper fire starter hack. We open it up only to be so disappointed that the wrapper no longer has the, the metal, the aluminum on it, the, the foil on one side. We're going to let her show you 
how to start a fire with dryer lint and uh, a regular little uh, sparking rod. Here we go. This, you put some dryer lint in a toilet paper roll. You can also pour wax on it if you want to seal it up. You're not getting a lot of spark. You need more spark. You got to hit strike it. The closed thing does it. So take it out of the hole, I think. Yeah, I think it's just lay it out here. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to get ourselves a little rat nest going. <laughs> I set fire to that. There okay, goes. now let's get Good our little job. sticks going. Okay, so what do you think of the dryer lint hack? You think it's a win? I, I think it's a win. The dryer lint ha hack for sure. Ding. If you uh, have some way to start it, some sort of a spark, the dryer lint works. Yeah. Show you our first cooking hack which is cooking baked potatoes in the fire. And this is one of our favorites we do all the time when we cook out. Okay, we are roaring now. Got a big old stack. We did bring this little starter pack. All right, how's it going so far? Great, it's going great. Got the fire going. Got the fire going? Okay. I wrap them in two layers of aluminum foil so they don't burn. Let's throw that one over there. And it's just that easy. Try not to uh, bang them up too much with your stick, but get them <laughs> down deep and uh, just lay the wood on top of them. I actually brought four potatoes just in case a couple get burnt. to be back with the drone because every time I took it up high velocity winds as you can tell it is still blowing pretty good okay friends how many of you have seen this hack from five minute crafts Okay, time for another hack. You may have seen this on Five Minute Crafts. They make caramel corn out of popcorn and a Werther's candy dropped into a soda can and then they put it in the fire. And we're gonna try that right now. Okay, so far, so far I don't hear anything. That, that is right over the inferno. <laughs> it is flaming inside here now. No. The popcorn has not popped. Nailed it. Okay, Michelle, what do you think about the caramel corn? <laughs> I think it's a whack. We're gonna see if it's possible without putting the Werther's in, if we can get regular popcorn. Oh, 
All right, friends, now for our special cooking hack. We brought no grill, nothing to cook on, no charcoal briquettes. We had to find wood. If we didn't get a fire going, we weren't going to eat. And we're going to use a hack that we used back in Niangua. Remember that? Yeah. And we did it on our overnight camping trip, and it works so good. It's one of our original hacks, and it is cooking steaks on a hot dog fork. This is just a regular telescoping hot dog fork. Look at that. Steak's looking good. It's delicious. So it's almost like a lollipop of steak, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull mine off and taste it. And since it's a telescoping fork, so you can just push it back in, eat right off the fork, eliminates the need for a plate. Mmm. Now this is the way they used to do it back in the old days. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and cook these second steaks up. Regardless, we wanna have them cooked even if we have them with our eggs tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Because tomorrow morning, we're gonna do scrambled eggs. We're gonna show you a hacky way to do it. Look at that, beautiful. Second potato's good. So I'd say at least two of these three has gotta be good. Here you have it, there's my baked potato. Cheers. Mm. Now that's camp cooking. All right, as you can see. Lake's a little choppier now than it was. All right, it's cut. Pretty windy. As you can tell, our tent is just about had it. So we're gonna move it behind that screen I set up. Okay, so now we're set up like this. Okay, for those of you who have been watching from the beginning, you saw the Werther's popcorn experiment gone awry. Do not trust the Werther's. But you know, I like this idea so much, I wanted to believe this so much that I'm gonna try it again in a more traditional sense so I've just got the uh, the popcorn in there and I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter because that makes a lot more sense than, whoop, makes a lot more sense than the Werther's, the butter is gonna go in there. I'm just gonna close this up. I'm gonna try this one more time and we're gonna see if we can just get regular popcorn to work. All right, so here is our popcorn popper and we're just gonna sit this right there in the fire Later. unfortunately the next video which revealed the popcorn was corrupt there was some popcorn in there not a lot and I think why would you cook popcorn like this? Honestly. Okay, what up? It's night, and now we are gonna play some hide and seek. You ready to go? I'm gonna <laughs> hide, and you're gonna go seek. Blake! We've gotta have some fun out here, so. I'm having fun, this is wonderful. But before morning, we found out it's gonna be 35 degrees and 24 mile an hour winds. Okay, friends, remember, if you want to see us do a Dollar Tree survival out on this island, 1,000 likes, right? Yeah, 1,000. And you're coming out here with us? Yeah. I'll come Zipping in the tent. Zippity, zippity. And here we go. This is not a thermal tent. There's no wood stove. <laughs> There's no heaters. There's no nothing. You can hear the wind. Outside the tent. That's <laughs> yeah, great. 
We've got a lot of room in here though and the reason we have so much room is because we don't have our air mattress we are used Wee. to <laughs> we're used to glamping with our our big fluffy air mattress but since our car cannot our canoe. traverse the uh well but you know we use the car to air up the mattress usually. oh yeah yeah so anyway or we don't have the electricity is all we're saying yeah. so we're just gonna have to rough it every now and then but if you really want to see us rough at 1,000 views. <laughs> 1,000 views or uh, 1,000 likes? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. You know that. It'll be like seven of you. And I'll be like, I'm going anyway. <laughs> yep. But it doesn't matter because it's not about that. It's about the experience. Look at that. All ready to go. Yay. All right. What are we going to do now? Are we going to get some cards out? Or yeah. we could get a Netflix get special Netflix going. going. We're sitting here watching some Poker Face, and we just heard, I think our big tarp just blew off, something just blew off of our tent, so I'm going to go out and check it out real quick. All right. Wish me luck. All right. I think it okay. So it was my windscreen has blown down and you can see the impact it has on the back of the tent here. <laughs> so I've got to put it back up. Okay, so I just got it set up again. It is, my wind. It is like a sail, but it is nice because if you look on this side, it just knocks all of this wind right off of the tent. At least there's no bugs. There's not any bugs. Oh. Oh. Okay, and now we continue with another exciting episode of Poker Face. <laughs> you and Manny made this place. Came up with the radio show. Six and a half hours later. So. Apparently, there's a bunch of geese that live on this island. <laughs> They've been doing that all night. <laughs> oh, it's alright, I slept through half of them, but yeah, now I'm like... <laughs> Good morning. Well, we survived the night. It's chilly this morning. I haven't actually checked the temperature. That would only depress me. <laughs> Fire is completely out. So we're going to try to get some coffee going. And we'll be back with you. Okay, no hack with today's fire. We went with the old standby. The lighter. But we did use some of that, uh, that dryer lint. That dryer lint really does work good. Got Michelle out there finding some wood for us while I stay warm. Well, here's uh, the thing I fixed in the middle of the night. It, of course, blew down again. And it's those campfire ashes that really make the coffee taste special. She assures me all those ashes are going to be French pressed out. All right, let's get back to it. We're out here on Hack Island, and I'm going to grab some lake water. Just uh, try not to get my feet wet because I don't have my water shoes on. I guess I thought this would be easier. There we go. All right, got some good lake water. Carry this back up to camp. And we are going to cook breakfast with this regular old lake water. Okay, how's, how's it going? You got the fire going? Yep, and we're ready for a coffee. All right, good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the fire. Now that's a strong coffee. Okay, I scrambled eggs, put the salt and pepper in here, and this is in a silicone bag. And then that's gonna go in the water. 
and we're gonna try to cook eggs cook this eggs. way. Now they say you can do it with a regular Ziploc bag. I don't know. All right, there we go. So I've got my cup of water. I'm gonna put my Ziploc bag in there. And definitely put that in there before you put it on the element so you don't snuff your element out. Do it right about there. Place it on the element. So it should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Delicious coffee. Are oh, you going to put that tater in there Might too? Might as well. Huh? All right. Add the tater to the mix. You're going to have us a nice country breakfast. <laughs> okay, we pulled it off the fire and uh, it seems to be about done. So we're just going to let that smolder. All right, here we are testing the eggs. See if this they cooked. Yeah. They did. You gonna take a bite? <laughs> we are going to take. A bite. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of <laughs> overcooked. Oh Lord. Now this, we're not saying this is the best way. We're just testing to see if it actually worked. You know, they don't really show you if the thing works on these hack oh, shows. One for you. That's my egg. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, I'm glad you used this uh, thicker bag because yeah. you don't want to let it touch the sides if you actually do try this. Um, I don't think it melted the bag, but it did. Uh, it did in one spot. Get close right here, right there, just yeah. a little bit because uh, it it touched the top. So a Ziploc bag would have disintegrated. But I think if you use this over a camping stove, you wouldn't. You're dealing with the flames going on the sides of the. Okay, it looks like I'm eating butter, but this is my egg <laughs> breakfast. You want a little cheese on it? it might help it. <laughs> That is a flavorless egg. Mm. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be making this every single day this way, but. <laughs> we have to eat their, our eggs. Okay, I'll see you. Right. She's gonna. I had to add cheese to mine. They are pretty bland. Mm. Yeah, it's an egg. It's a really cooked scrambled egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this hack works, but it's not the most delicious. So I recommend how you normally bring your food and do eggs to do it that way. <laughs> I'm having some steak for breakfast. Okay, enough breakfast. Let's get back to the hacks. Found this little piece of wood and I've got my tarp that got blown down. It's actually not a tarp, it's a beach blanket. And this is a hack to make a hammock out of any blanket. You find a stick like this, simply gather all of one end together, just like this, and then just roll it onto your stick. Okay, so I've just made a loop with my cord. Got this rolled around. Just gonna put it over like that then bring it back around each end like this. Then I'm gonna hook it to my, my hook here. And that should be tight. Okay, and here we go on the other side. Gonna roll it. Seems pretty good. Ready to try it, Michelle? Okay, me first. And here we have it. There is your impromptu hammock. We're gonna get Michelle over here to try it out. It's gonna slip. Yeah, I tell you what, I want to tighten this up. Do a little modification. I'm gonna make this tight so that it just cannot slip over the stick. By doing this, it won't be able to slip over the stick now. Let's see if this helps. All right, and this one, I think I'll do the same thing.
again having to modify these hacks. Okay, I'll be so surprised if I don't hit myself on the rear. <laughs> Boom, baby! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, this is doable. <laughs> it's almost. Wow. Okay, so that hack is brilliant. This is a good hack. <laughs> this is great. Love it. Those turned out works. great. The they steaks, were like medium. Every medium time we've rare. got the steaks, they tasted good. It tasted good this morning as well. Yeah, yeah, it did. Those were great. Yeah. So the, the little forks do work. You see the wind is blowing this way, and we have to go home that way. I didn't want to say anything last night, but the way that wind was blowing, we were literally trapped on this island. We, uh, we couldn't have got home. Not paddling the canoe. <laughs> no, it, there's just no way. It would well, have been blowing. Well, at one point it was like 24 miles an hour. Yeah, so. blowing straight <laughs> from where we came from. Yeah. So we were literally stuck on this island uh, last night, but I think we're going to make our escape today. Well, overall, this hammock hack has got to be my favorite. This has got to be the number one hack. If you've got a big beach blanket like this, all right, we're gonna pack up and get the hack out of here. All right, we're getting ready to leave Hack Island. Huh? We had a, uh, a good time, we got a little cold. It's nice now, especially since we're all layered up. Our uh, canoe's all loaded up, ready to rock. We're gonna do one last hack, and that is to use a wet-dry bag to carry water and our fire is still smoldering over there we didn't want to leave it on this deserted island so I'm just gonna gather some water hopefully enough and uh, look at that it does hold the water so I'm gonna carry this water up here it another hack to leave hack island we will be back all right we say a fond farewell to this sweet island and a sincere thank you to each and every one of you who watched this video to the end we'll see you next time Considering that win last night, this is idyllic. Let us know in the comments what your favorite hacks are, and we'll be back.